And I mentioned earlier in the interview that adult toys, cannabis, medical device. So they're the areas that we're moving into. But we don't necessarily, apart from the clients that are pivoted, we don't have a reputation in there. So we are starting from ground zero. So for me, I'm now looking at opportunities or where, we, what strategies we employ to maintain that growth. Now, I don't want to wait six, seven years to growing adult toys and, and all of that. We want to accelerate that growth because we've now got the, the revenue to be able to do. For me, we're in unfamiliar territory in terms of what marketing we employ. So I'm looking at an awful lot of things. We've worked with yourselves on the on the video content. We're looking at things like improving our lead generation funnels across social media and in general. We're working on. I, I ran a, I went with a, a business accelerator called Key Person of Influence with a guy called Daniel Priestman. And we've done that about four or five years ago now. And then 24 episodes. And we added Daniel as a business coach for us as well. And it's that, some of that stuff was groundbreaking. The KPI stuff. And I think you and I were at Jen and chat about that. And I believe you've got some other people who've been through those accelerators as well. And that stuff, I'd done that. And as soon as we started implementing those five key areas, my business went like that. It really did accelerate. And I said, why didn't I know this 20 years ago when I was young and I had more road in front of me, but nonetheless, we did implement that. And that is social media, getting your picture right, publishing. I know I, I wrote a book on really, and published a book about you know, like compliance. So we implemented that. And I would say that's a really good roadmap for anybody. Start by reading the books. If you haven't got the whether it's 10, 15 grand, and it might be less than that, to do the actual accelerator pulse. Still not with a book, can sit some really good stuff in it. And he's come out with something called uh, Score. It's basically like a scorecard that you can tailor. And we've done that early doors, we've done a compliance health check for the vape industry. And essentially what it does, it allows brands to actually go through a bunch of like, 20, 30 questions. And we'll prepare a report for them and give them a bit of a benchmark on where they are, where the deficiencies are. So it's a gap analysis in layman's terms. But what it does, it allows you to see where the weak points are in the strategy. And then you can implement your risk management to rental your brand and, and, and protect it. So I would say organic as much as organic as you can in terms of working with industry specific exposure. That's a really good one. The content marketing, try and get it out there. Even if you're not paying to raising the profile of your ads, you're just putting stuff out there. If you've got something good to say, get it out there. Right. The one thing that I learned and what, what some people do, like they spit it up, chill it up, video after video, and it's, my friend did crap. 